Okay, now we have an update for you on a story that we told you about earlier this month. You'll remember Charlie Smith, the 19-year-old who lost his prosthetic leg while tubing on Big Indian Pond in St. Albans. So our Alex Haskell has been following this story for us since Charlie first lost his prosthetic leg and now joins us live with an update on the latest. Hey, Alex. Hey, guys, good morning. Well, when Charlie first lost his prosthetic leg, Mainers instantly started helping this young man and his family from New Hampshire search for it. They brought in equipment. They were physically diving into the pond trying to find this prosthetic leg, and it's something they're still actually doing because they haven't found the leg yet. Here is a look at the bottom of Big Indian Pond in St. Albans. Around the area, the prosthetic is believed to have been lost. This is video from retired Maine State Police Officer Glenn Lang. He's been using what is essentially an underwater drone in the search. As you can see, visibility is not great here. Something Lang says has made the search really difficult. We gave it our, our best effort. It's just so hard when you can only see in such a short distance. We, we may go back out if I can get an idea that the conditions are better. I don't think it would make any sense to go back out right now. I've also been in contact with Mary Smith, Charlie's mom. She says the folks over at Mainly Scuba in Wilton are trying to put a dive team together to give looking for the prosthetic a shot. But she also says her son has already been casted for a new prosthetic leg. I spoke to Charlie, who says he's been using an old prosthetic to get around with. It's one he's outgrown, and he couldn't put off getting a new one any longer. I have a leg that doesn't fit. I can't walk for more than... 20 minutes without my knees hurting, my back hurting. It's really heartwarming. Uh, it means a lot to me that they're so committed to finding something that I think is probably gone forever. So Charlie went on to say that he is set to pick up his new prosthetic leg a little later this week. Now him and his mother welcome help from anyone willing to try to go find the lost prosthetic leg, but they say they're not very hopeful it will turn up. They are, however, incredibly grateful for the time and effort Mainers have tried uh, putting in to help them find this prosthetic. Producer of Maine, I'm Alex Haskell. Yeah, regardless of the outcome, it's just been nice to see people to come together. And it would be so exciting if they found it. And then he'd have a backup that actually fit, sure. right? Yeah. So there's no bad outcome here, yeah. really.